Hello, welcome to you all, the Falkirk team. Um, I just want to say thank you for all you're doing uh, in the community, the people you support each and every day. Your role is such an important one, uh, being professional health and social care professionals. Um, I want to talk about a few things on my mind. I wanted to sort of touch base. It's been a while since I last spoke to you. Uh, I wanted to, first of all, just talk about learning and development, continuous professional learning in terms of triple SC registration. Most of you, I understand, do have your SVQ level two, which is part of the conditions that you have that within five years of registration, which I'm sure you're all aware of, and well ahead of the game, which is fantastic news. We have further training that you want to think about doing. You can go on the website for the Triple SC. There's a step into leadership. That's about you being a leader in your own right as a member of the team within the organisation that you lead and have a voice in everything that we do and you do have a voice and that's such an, such an important part of your role as well that you can lead and be part of a team um, being supported by your care manager Suzanne by your senior uh, Margaret Easton or anybody else who works with us so let Suzanne and myself know if you wish to do anything further with training there's more on the website uh, triple SC or badges where you can Look at different areas and topics of uh, excellence and learning that you want to achieve. You can also go on to um, other websites, uh, care websites, and I'm not sure which one I'm talking about here. Uh, Skills Development Scotland are one of the sites you can use to, to further develop yourselves. Discuss these at your one to one supervisions with Suzanne or anyone else uh, what you'd like to do in terms of personal development. Uh, such an important part. I'm also doing training. I have cancelled twice, so I do apologise to you. We've been really busy in Edinburgh and I've been stuck with things. I had to reschedule, but I'd like to reschedule that again with Suzanne. So it's manual handling updates, your e-learning, which I know you've all been doing and working really hard while on and achieved that so far, which is good. Uh, basic life support and end of life. I'll be doing these courses together on a three hour session uh, as soon as I can get back to you. So thank you for that. We're doing Refer a Friend. If you know of anybody who has good professional care standards like you do, uh, beliefs and values of giving the best and making a difference in someone's life, please let me know, Suzanne, know. Uh, it's £300 to you and the person you refer. If they stay with us for six months and continue working with us, you'll get that money, and so will they. So please think about that. Preferably drivers, I need drivers. If you can, that would be a massive bonus to all of us so we can grow our business in a managed way. We can't go without people like you, the assets to the company, the organisation. You are the ambassadors of this organisation and we're proud of you. We are growing our team. We've actually recently employed uh, a lady called Susan who comes with a wealth of experience. She was a, is a qualified social worker but comes from supporting people with learning disabilities, complex care needs as a, as a unit manager, a support manager, support worker. Uh, who's coming to us very, very soon in the capacity of a quality assurance manager. And that's about managing and, and ensuring quality within the service, whether that be observing your practice, monitoring, uh, auditing on terms of the past system, care planning, uh, spot checks, observations or care reviews. She'll be involved with these things and supporting us, supporting Suzanne and working together as a team member. So keep your eyes peeled, she may be out doing some care work or it's supporting you in the field. So uh, keep an eye out for Susan, Susan Queen. She's not the Queen, she's Susan and she's a very nice lady. So welcome to Susan uh, on board to the organisation and to the team itself. So thank you for that, so keep an eye out. We're continuing with care reviews um, and if you have anyone you want to discuss that needs reviewed uh, who you're looking after and supporting, please let me or Suzanne know, or Margaret, obviously you know who to phone, who to speak to about it, so we can make sure we uh, ensure they get the best care possible, as they always do. I know you're giving the best care in Edinburgh and Falkirk, so that's that's good news. I'm out with Cora just now, I'm on a walk in the park in Rock, and that's our Cora over there, she's there, she's now 16, 17 months now, our Cora. Come on Cora! And she's a fantastic girl. I'm looking to try and think about doing some more uh, Q 
care and support for people living in their own homes. It's called Thera Pets. It's a service I'd like to introduce at some point to give people who are lonely some comfort. And how more comfort can you have from a dog? This gorgeous girl, Cora. She's just beautiful and she's one that loves, cares about people who are lonely, who need comfort. And, and quite honestly, a dog can be someone's best friend when they are lonely, giving comfort and support. And she's saying she's beautiful, isn't she? Here's Cora. Hello. What are you doing that? Cora's been to someone else, two of our clients in Edinburgh, and they said to me, one of them said, you know what, Cora made my day. She used to have a German Shepherd and she made my day, and she's lovely. But she is. You, Cora. Adorable. Adorable. I love it. Moving on, um, I don't know what else to say, but having another care inspection, we had a care inspection uh, back in March and again in July, we have our care inspector, one of them, her name is Teresa, Teresa Glendening, who will be coming to Falkirk to see what we're doing there. I'm going to be more involved with Falkirk, hands-on, on a regular, more regular basis than I have. So I have been a bit of a stranger, so uh, I want to be back together, working with you, supporting you. I'd like to hold a staff meeting very, very soon, um, and I'll be letting you know as I know. I'd like to have that meeting this month, uh, just for an hour, just to touch base with you all, just to see how you are, anything you want to talk about coming together. Um, I know the holiday season is coming to an end now so um, I thank you for anybody who's been helping out for all the staff immensely that you've helped out when you could when we've been struggling because of Covid or absence because of holidays you have absolutely stepped up and hit the mark and that's what Suzanne's told me she's so pleased and proud of you all and so am I. So that's a bonus and that's a good thing. Uh, I think I'm going to sign off now, that's enough for me, I always talk about a lot of good things and uh, keep up the good work and keep doing what you're doing, giving good standard of quality, compassionate care as you always do and I thank you again for what you're doing. If you want to talk about anything else or want to contact me, just go through the office and tell me. We are getting a new phone system as well, that phone system has been down recently, so it's being installed next Wednesday, so that will be a good thing for us too. And um, yeah. Take care guys and we'll see you later. Take care for now. Bye bye.